So today I'm going to show you how to create the synth from Afrojack's uh, song called Takeover Control, which is a really easy Dutch lead. So um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your rack menu and you are going to create a combinator. Now inside this combinator, right click inside it and create a Thor uh, polysonic synthesizer. Now, if it, <clears throat> another patch shows up here, you're going to want to initialize that patch, and you can do this by either right-clicking or going up to the Edit menu and selecting Initialize Patch, and it'll say Initial Patch. And what that sounds like is kind of just, it's your basic one oscillator sawtooth with the preset settings that come for that sawtooth. Um, now, the first thing you are going to want to do is bring the frequency all the way up on your filter. Uh, and you're going to go over to your first oscillator and you're going to leave it actually as a sawtooth. You're actually not going to do anything to this oscillator. All you're going to do right now is bring up the frequency. Now we're going to go down here and what we're going to do is we are going to connect the LFO to affect the pitch of the oscillator up here. So we're going to be routing this LFO to this pitch and what we're going to do is we're going to have it go really, the LFO is going to go really, really, really fast and it's going to create that almost alarm sound that we get from the synth. So your, our source is going to be the LFO one. For amount, let's bring it up to 22 because we don't want it to be too intense. You'll see if you bring up the amount <clears throat> more and more, you get you lose more of the sound of the synth and it just becomes a really, really intense LFO sound. So now we're going to route it. Finally, our destination is going to go to oscillator one and then pitch. So this is our oscillator one and the pitch. Now, <clears throat> if you play it, it's going to sound kind of just like a detuned synth. So we're going to take this rate up, and we're going to bring it up to, I think, about 70 hertz. Yeah, 70.6 hertz will, will be sound good. Yep. All right, now you're going to go to your amp envelope, and we're going to want to bring the sustain up so that <clears throat> what, what that means is that when you hold down the note, the note will play as long as you hold it down for. So bring the sustain all the way up. And we're going to leave the release down. We're going to leave everything else the same. Now in our filter envelope, we're going to bring the decay down a bunch to about 77.2 milliseconds. Um, and now we're going to go up to our, en our, en our envelope amount <clears throat> underneath the filter. And we're going to bring it up to about 77. So what that does is it means if we bring this filter down, we're going to get only a little taste, only uh, 70, 77.2 milliseconds worth of the synth before it starts to decay out. So you get a really almost plucky sound. So if you automate this frequency like Afrojack does in the song, you get a really plucky sound that gets bigger and bigger until it ends up sounding like the alarm Dutch synth. Now, <clears throat> we're going to go up here to the portamento or glide, and we're going to select on and once we've turned it on, I would leave the port amount at around 40. That's that's a perfect amount, but you can also change it as you want to. The more portamento you do, the more slide there will be between notes. Um, let's see, is there anything else you should do? Oh, yeah. So let's go down to the shaper. And in the demo, I had it on hard clip. And I had it automated so that the shaper was around 17, which doesn't sound like much. But if you automate it up, the higher you go, it almost turns into a distorted sounding uh, square. Even though we're starting with a sawtooth waveform, when you use this hard clip on it, it turns it a bit into a square sounding synth, which is kind of cool if you want to use that effect. Afrojack did not use that effect in the song, but I think that's a cool thing you could do if you wanted to use the synth for something of your own. Now let's right click on this synth and create a... RV7 digital reverb, just an easy reverb. Uh, the RV7000, uh, the other reverb, is obviously a lot more in-depth and intense, but this one will suit just fine. I would bring the dry-wet down to just around 4 or 2. We really don't want much reverb, and I would bring the size down to about 38, negative 38, I should say, and leave the decay and the damp the same. And let me bring that hard back. Yeah. So that's sounding a, a, even a little reverb. Yeah, I might even just bring it down to two. You don't want much reverb at all. Um, now, I like to compress this synth a bit so that it 
has little room over the drum, so I'll just take the compressor. I'll bring the threshold down to negative 19.6, and I'll turn the ratio to about 5.74. Leave it there. It's just a little bit of light compression. Um, what else? I think that is about it. You could add a distortion unit to this uh, to give it a little bit of a different sound. Um, I personally like it without distortion, but I know that it people like distortion on Dutch since it gives it that cool kind of sound. So go ahead and add a Scream 4 and mess around with the different uh, the different effects in there if you want to try that out. But other than that, there you have it. This is the synth. Um, I think it's pretty similar. So enjoy it, guys.